Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video, what I'm going to be going over is how to um, in DaVinci Resolve 16. So obviously if you look in here, preferences, or down here in the bottom corner it says DaVinci Resolve 16 public beta. Now this is the very newest, you know, release of DaVinci Resolve 16, very newest beta 3 version, studio version. In this video, guys, I'm going to be going over HDR, HDR10, and how to enable it properly and color correct with it, export videos in HDR if you're using HDR footage. So there's a couple things you're going to want to know and do to do this correctly. So the very first thing you'll want to do when you come into your edit page you open up a project the very first thing you're gonna want to make sure obviously is that the footage you're using is recorded in HDR if you if you try to record the footage in HDR it, you have to have a recorder like a capture card or something of that sort to actually record HDR footage or if you're using a camera However, you're getting this HDR footage, you're going to want to actually have HDR footage. Now, you can use SDR footage, which is actually what I'm going to show you in this video. This footage here from Watch Dogs 2 that I captured is actually recorded in SD SDR footage. Now, you can actually transform that, and that's what I'll be doing. But most of you guys will just be working with straight HDR footage. It'll be a lot easier for you guys. The picture will look a lot cleaner than this. But let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come up to this DaVinci Resolve panel. Go to Preferences. And if you're running in 16, this will be under User. Color. Now guys, I think this will actually work with... DaVinci Resolve 15, but I'm not certain about 14. Anyways, if you come into User, Color, Color Management tab, you want to enable this little checkbox here. You want to enable HDR scopes for ST2084 color format. Note, guys, if you're using the free, uh, the free version. The light version of this application this box won't be here for you you won't be able to do this you actually have to have the studio version to do this at all but you want to enable HDR scopes here for SD84 save that now come into your project settings well first of all if you go and if you go next into the color management you'll see here at the bottom right, you want to click on this little graph here that says scopes. You want to open that up and then it will bring you this little graph here with scopes. Now this number here on the right is the, um, the nit brightness. So obviously HDR is 1000 nits and SDR is only 100 nits. So if you've imported whether it's HDR or SDR footage, if you have an enabled HDR, it will only, this graph will actually only cap out at about 100 nits. So if you see here, when I come down on my gain, I can drop the gain back down to 100 nits, which is SDR. And you'll see that the picture here went from HDR down to SDR. Now obviously, I have everything else set to what I wanted it and then you just take your gain back up to a thousand nits and your picture will uh, you know come back up to HDR so th to finish enabling this in your project you want to come to master settings video bit depth you want to make sure that's on 10 if you set it to 8 bit it's not going to be correct. It's not going to be HDR footage. Um, you can do whatever resolution and stuff you want, whatever you want here. Enable HDR metadata over HDMI. You want to make sure that's checked so you can export. Optimize media and render catch. 
this optimize media format and render catch format you want to set to both at an uncompressed 16-bit float HDR which is going to be the absolute max 16-bit quality HDR even though we are going only to 10-bit if you enable this it'll want it'll keep it uncompressed and next go to color management now in color space and transforms you're going to want to set this color science to the color managed DaVinci YRGB. So obviously if you come down here, it says here that this is the input color space. Now this is where I told you guys in the beginning of the video that my footage was originally actually captured in Rec 709, which is like an SDR color space. All you would have to do to get HDR to get HDR footage is make sure the timeline color space is set to Rec 2100 SD84, which is your standard S or HDR uh, color space, and make sure your output color space is also set to the same thing, Rec 2100 ST2084. Link output gamma to the color space, and then move on down. HDR mastering, you can set this to whatever nits your television supports. So if I had, they don't make them yet, but if I had a 10,000 nits monitor, I could just set this number to 10,000 nits, and then I would be able to raise this to 10,000 nits. Now you can still raise it anyways, but your monitor won't actually... Uh, support it it won't make any difference for you it will just mess up the output when you export it so don't do that just set it to whatever your monitor is so you can see the actual colors and you can color correct it correctly and then the very last thing you want to do is you'll see this HDR 10 plus enable that and I think that should be all you have left to do guys once you save that in your project settings you can come back to your color management thing and w once you started the video it, it will default here to your 100 nits now once you've changed it in the project settings now you can come here and adjust your gain from you know 100 nits to 10 nits whatever you can adjust your gain to HDR 1000 nits and then you know you'll want to change your offset your gamma your lift depending on how you want your picture to look so see like uh, my lift here is all at zeros you can go up down with your lift and you'll see how the lift kind of just lifts up your your base gamma or reduces it so see if I bring my lift down, then I want to bring my gain back up to match the 1000 nit mark. If I bring it back down and I set my lift back to zero, I want my lift at zero so that the base minimum is zero nits for the picture. And then I want to gain to 1000. And then you can play with your gamma and your offset to kind of counteract any artifacts or discoloring in your image so when you play the actual footage you'll see the scopes here will actually ch will warp to you know the pictures color settings color output so when you go to something with a bunch of different colors you'll see that maybe you'll want to change your lift or your gain to have an even color space throughout this whole scope graph. So I hope that helped you guys figure out how to enable HDR once you've started once you bought the studio version you want to start working with HDR and things like that. That would get you through the project and would get everything set up to work with HDR. Now all you would want to do 
to finish that would be go to your export. I personally think 264 works best. Whatever encoder you want. But you want it under here, you want to make sure you export HDR10 and embed HDR10. And then the rest of the settings you can have whatever you want. But that's it, guys. You hit export, add to render key export, and you will have an exported HDR color corrected. Color corrected video however you want to have it and that's it guys you'll be able to work with full hdr 10 thousand nits or however many nits your television sports thanks for watching guys make sure you like share and subscribe and i will see you in the next tutorial